All right, everyone, Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I wanna to talk about how to buy Maya, okay? I feel like this is a very expensive program, but I'm gonna show you how to get 85% off uh, legally for production purposes. And it completely the same way, uh, completely the same product as the $1,700 a year. So stick around to the end to make sure you see all of the kind of the possibilities. So, um, Let's go ahead and just kind of dive right in here. If I go to the Autodesk website here, um, this is where you purchase Maya. And if I click on, if I go to products and I, I signed in, so you might need to sign in to see this, but um, here's all the products. I could go to view all products or I could click on Maya right here for the top products. So I'm just gonna click on Maya. And I can see, oh, hey, I wanna start making my own games, uh, movies, I wanna start selling stuff, or whatever it is. Um, and if you wanna buy Maya, you can see that it's $1,700 a year, okay? Even if you paid every three years, I mean, you're not even saving that much money, it's ridiculous. I feel like this is super pricey, and if you do it monthly, it's $215 a month, okay? So I feel like this is a very expensive program. Now. If you're a student, they do have an option for educational. So if I click on educational access, if I go here, now what's cool, um, and I'll, I'll show you how to do this, I can go to students right here. And if I come down, I can create an Autodesk account, and then I can confirm eligibility. So it might ask for like a student ID or something along those lines. And then I can uh, go ahead and get the products. And if I click on that, it'll um, bring me into a section that I should be able to go find Maya and download it. And I would be able to download it for free for a year, okay? Now, that's not still not what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm showing you how to save money if you're making money with this, okay? So if you're like a, a small production studio or something along those lines, you couldn't use the educational version. And by the way, if you do have or download the professional, or I'm sorry, the educational version of Maya, every time that Maya launches, it says, hey, this was used with the educational version. And that is always going to be part of Maya. So I feel like if you're a studio, you cannot legally use the educational version. Plus it would only be good for a year. Um, so it looks like how Maya makes it look is that you only have those two options. You have, you can pay full price at $1,700 a year, or if you're a student, you can get it for free. But I'm gonna show you a couple different options. Okay, so if I go back to products here, and if I go to view all products, okay, and if I scroll down, or if I go through, you can see that there's something called Maya LT. Okay, now this is still not what I'm talking about, but I feel like, let, let me kind of talk about this quickly here. So Maya LT is basically like Maya Light, okay? And I can see that this is $280 a year, which is a great, I feel like much more reasonable price than $1,700 a year. And this is designed for indie game makers. But um, this is actually watered down, so they're not gonna have all of the compatibility or all of the things that the regular professional version of Maya has. So if you need to do dynamic simulations or certain rendering things, uh, you may not be able to do it with this. Plus, these files are not compatible with, we'll call it the professional version of Maya. So you can't kind of swap back and forth that I know of, okay? But once again, I feel like this is a pretty good price. But there is another option. And if you poked around on their website, you would not find the option that I'm about to show, okay? So it looks like you have the option of $1,700 a year or $280 a year for kind of a watered down version. But there's a third option and that's called the Maya Indie license. So I'm gonna put this link in the video here, but I just Google searched Maya Indie and it brought me to this site here. Now I just picked my region. Okay, so I'm just gonna say, um, let's see. 
United States. And it's going to bring me this. And it's going to say, hey, wait a minute. Are you eligible for the Maya Indy? And if I click on, am I eligible? Uh, the way that you can be eligible for this is that if you your annual gross revenue from creative work must be less than $100,000. Okay, so that means that let's say if you had a part-time job uh, doing something unrelated and you're, you're part-time working with Maya, if that equaled a hundred or hundred thousand or more, it still wouldn't matter. What it's saying is that your Maya income basically has to be a hundred thousand dollars or more. Okay, so if you're making less than a hundred thousand dollars using Maya, then this is a great um, option for you. And if I click on I'm eligible, then what it's going to do? It's going to take you to an area that you can download or you can actually purchase it for $280 a year. Okay, so if I click on this, um, okay, now I can say uh, get my indie today. And once again, if I click on that, now I already have it, so it's not gonna take me to the right screen, but I feel like um, it would be $280, which is exactly the same price as my LT. However, this indie version is exactly the same as this one. Okay, it's exactly the same. So the only difference is that um, you have to be making less than $100,000 on your Maya, and then you qualify, okay? And you can see that they have, um, if, you, if you question, if you qualify, you can click on these links here. But once again, if you do, then you can download it. And from everything that I can see, it's identical to this one. You have all of the functionality to this one. It's a, it's compatible even if you use back and forth with other versions of this. Um, and a way that you can tell too is that when you launch Maya, up here when you sign into your account, okay, you can sign in or sign out. If I go to manage license, I can see right now I'm on the commercial license. So that means that if I'm working on a commercial version, that it's not going to be tagged with the educational license and that way if i'm once again if i'm doing production work it's great to me i feel like this seems a lot more reasonable at 280 dollars. i don't know about you but i feel like 280 dollars a year is a lot more reasonable than 1700 dollars a year i feel like this just kind of kills the you know the freelancer and you know people trying to get started so if you recently graduated and you had the free version of Maya um, and now you're kind of evolving to freelance work um, and you're, you know, you're thinking, ah, should I do this one or this one? Don't do either of those. Do the Maya Indie license, which is not going to show up here. You have to search for it independently of it. And that's going to be $280 a year, but it's going to be exactly this product. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe because what I'm doing is I'm trying to push out new videos every week to give you tips and tricks. So hopefully you found this helpful. I'll see you later.